Hi YouTube, it's Lena and I'm here today with the Paranormal Pantivity Project Pan update. Super late with this one, but when am I not? Anyways, this was started by Andrea or Pretty as a Peacock. I will link her down below. This is being done in, con in conjunction with the Pantastic Ladies, which I will also link down below. And I do have four empties since the last time, but because this ends in September, September 24th, actually it's National Ghost Hunting Day, I'm going to start rolling in extra prompts. <laughs> so I have two, four, six, seven. I have, I believe, eight picked out this time. And I'm going to be rolling in the other eight next time. That is what I had left. So and this might get a little crazy. <laughs> but I want to at least touch all the prompts. Looking back, I probably should have just went ahead and rolled everything in. but. Who knows what I'd be panning if I had done that. So, whatever. All right, so the things that I finished. In June, I finished for Revenant, something that comes back has been repurchased, the Tree Hut Post Shave Soothing Mist. I was all the way down to here last time. There is a tiny bit left, but the nozzle actually doesn't go all the way down in this, but I have repurchased this again as my fourth one now. So I should probably, and have been using it, so I should probably pour this little bitty bit that's left into that bottle. I will set that aside so that I can remember to do that. And I should roll that bottle into some Project Pan because I have ADHD and I can't remember to do things unless I, you know, give myself goals and shit. That's how it works for me. Uh, the other thing that I finished in July was for Gremlin, a mini or deluxe sized item, which I, ha I need to tell y'all something about this. But I finished the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. Uh, I will start my paper progress over there. But uh, I rolled this prompt in twice. So yeah, I I goofed up on there. <laughs> I didn't realize it until I was going through the prompts today while trying to figure out enough things to put in here to cover eight products. And I was just like, damn it, I did that one twice. <laughs> Oops. Sorry about that. So I will pan 32 items for this project, apparently. <laughs> Anyways, uh, n for July, first I finished Kelpie, a shower or bath item, and I chose the Simple Pleasures uh, Citrus Mint Lotion. Uh, I used this to shave with, so it was for, you know, the body. Let's see. It was... It's, I think it was about down to here. There is no mark left on this. I think it probably got rubbed off. So it's done. I'm not cutting it open. I don't care about it enough. And the thing that I'm happiest about, despite the fact that I actually love this product, for Afterlife, something that's technically past its expiration date, which this is, it expired, let's see, uh, 09, 2022. It is now 2023. September, as a matter of fact. So, it is the Biro Bitter Green Essence Toner. It was up to here last time. And how I got through the rest of it was I finished the toners or toner products, type products that I was using at night. So I started using this day and night. And once I do that with a toner, I plow through it. But I like to use different toners in the day and night because I have a lot of freaking skincare, so. But I wanted to get this done because it was in a project pan that's ending relatively soon, so I wanted to get it used up. But uh, I experienced no difference in this after it was past its expiration date, so, you know, food for thought, I guess. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Can't afford, don't want to spend the $90 full price to purchase it again. So I might go hunt down another person selling it online as long as it's not the same expiration date. But we'll see. I have a lot of toner, so I really shouldn't do that. Now, the two items I still have going in here currently. First, for Demon, a product you were tempted by, I chose this Hourglass lipstick. I can never remember the name of it. I do know that the shade is... I believe it's written on here. I am. Yeah. So I'll insert my paper progress. I got some good progress on it in the last month. I don't know how many times I used it because I forgot to mark it several times. I am wearing it today, so. But I got some good progress. I don't know if I could finish this in the next month and a half. 
but I'm gonna try, which means I'm not gonna be wearing basically anything else for the next month and a half. So we'll see. I know I can use it as a cream blush. I'm trying to get my last couple of uses on a cream blush for uh, a different project pan. But after that, especially, I can definitely use this as a cream blush. A little sad because this is an expensive lipstick, but it, I mean, it's a beautiful color. It would make a beautiful cream blush. So I would like to finish it because I know that these have a pretty short shelf life as well. That's why even though I had just gotten it, I went ahead and threw this into a project pan. So I'm not too worried about that. And the other item I have is a, for ectoplasm, a face mask. This is the Yes to Watermelon Light Hydration Super Fresh Jelly Mask. Uh, we started here, I forgot to mark it, but it's right here now. It's just underneath that. Let me mark that real quick. So here's where it is now. I would really like to finish this, but I would have to use it like every night for the next six weeks, which I mean, I should, so. It takes no extra, I don't have to wash that off, so it should be something I can easily finish off by using it every night. I just have to remember to use it. Its weight went from 65.5 grams to 57.1. So I have to be right back because I just realized that I did the double prompt again, which is why I paused when I realized what the prompt for that was. So I will be right back. Okay, had, had to do a quick adjustment because I double used a prompt again. When I get to it, I'll explain what it was. But anyways, for the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things that I'm rolling in, and the next month I'm rolling in now the last seven prompts. First for Vanishing Hitchhiker, an item that goes quickly, I chose this little mini of the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil, or the brow whiz specifically. And not only do I go through brow pencils pretty quickly, uh, this little sample has like next to nothing in it. I mean, it's a little mini, but it has just so little product. So I can definitely go through that pretty darn quickly. Next for Dybbuk, which is, uh, I have to look it up to see specifically what it was, but I think it's a demon that is banished to a box specifically. <laughs> But an item that is in the box, I chose this. I got this in a uh, gift bag, a gift for purchase. This is the Benefit Professional, the OG, which is really nice, but Benefit Test on Animals, so I don't buy from them. But this came for free, so this is it right here. It appears to be about right here, so I will mark that shortly. But I put it back in the box so that I could show it to you. Uh, next is Seance. I product bought on recommendation. Uh, well, not this product specifically, although it also had really good free reviews, but just Pat McGrath shadows in general, everybody loves them. And I only have this little five pan itty bitty mini. So when they had the Christmas palette or the holiday palette and it went on sale, I snatched it up because I ain't buying that stuff at full price. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Artistry palette, the Mothership Mega Celestial Nirvana palette. So. Probably gonna be the hardest thing for me to work on because I want to do No Pan Left Behind, which is use every shade at least once. So that gives me 18 shadows to use in six weeks. Shouldn't be hard, but it's so freaking hot right now, I don't wanna wear makeup. Now, I am going out every night this week. So hopefully that can at least help me get a head start, a good start on it. So that is what I'm doing there. Next is Silkies, which I will have to insert what those are because I saw what they were on the list, which I do think I have down below, and then I promptly forgot. But it's either something that feels like silk or that leaves your skin feeling smooth. I chose a powder. This is the Mo Beauty Ultimate Finish Translucent Setting Powder. It's just a little mini. I got it from Ipsy. I want to finish it. So, yay there. Next is the Flying Dutchman, something I'm doomed to pan forever. I really do feel like I'm doomed to pan this forever. This was in my Throwback 30. It is the for the 2022 Throwback 30. This is the Tree Hut 24-Hour Intense Hydrating Shea Body Butter in Moroccan Rose. I don't think I've used it since I finished it, so I knew I had to throw it into something. Now, the goal for this project is 20 uses. Because if I can't hit that in two months, I just need to throw it away because I suck. 
Uh, I did weigh it though. It is 164 grams even. I don't think I can finish it in 20 uses because there is still a good like third of it left and it's a lot of product. But if I do finish it in 20 uses, yay me. I should reasonably be able to hit 20 uses in the next six to seven weeks or whatever it is. Next is the one that I had to change because initially I picked ectoplasm again. Anyways, for orbs or something that brings light to your face, I chose this set of sheet masks that I just got. It is the Id As Dermastic Gold Fit Mask. I got these in my Ipsy my, my Boxy Charm. I'm sorry, not Ipsy Glam Bag Plus anymore. My Boxy Charm last month. And it, it literally has whitening care, which is brightening. It doesn't actually like bleach anything. That's just the term they use in South Korea. But uh, yeah. Brightening, brings light to your face. I think it works. So I don't normally put sheet masks in project pants, although I have another prompt that I'm using sheet masks for. But I've been really lazy with my sheet masks this year. So I figured, you know what, if this will get me to get back on the wagon with them a little bit better, why not? Next is Boogie, or technically Boogie Man, something you use at night. And I chose this little Sweet Chef Superfood Vitamins Moisture Boost. It's a little moisturizer. Um, I have something I'm using in the daytime right now, or something that works better in the daytime, moisturizer wise. So I will use this at night. I was using it day and night, but out of the two, this one is thicker. Also, the Vitamin Boost Serum of theirs that I'm panning right now, I use it at night. So I'm supposed to pair this with that, so makes sense. I don't know why I'm flailing around a lot right now, don't ask. I don't know. And finally, for Screaming Skulls, something that is Halloween or scary themed, I chose a bunch of sheet masks that actually have like faces on them. These are all from the cream shop which is a great inexpensive skincare brand. They sell them at Ulta, although their selection at Ulta is very limited. I bought these off of their own website, which they run sales there all the time. So if you're interested in them, I definitely suggest going looking on their website. And then if you can find stuff, the same stuff on Ulta when you're making an Ulta order, go ahead and add it. I don't think any of these were on there though, but I have five little mac little like printed mask sheet masks that can be considered like a mask for Halloween, but also they just legitimately always look terrifying to me. So I figured why not, let's play around with the prompt a little bit anyways. This one is the Be Clear Skin Animated Kitten Face Mask. Let's see. Here we have a Clear Up Skin Animated Unicorn Face Mask. I'm sure this will be horrifying. A Glow Up Skin Animated Unicorn Face Mask. So same print on it, but it does a different thing. Be Magical Skin Animated Rainbow Unicorn Face Mask. So slightly different face that it has. And these ones especially are freaking terrifying to look at, but they're really good masks, so I keep repurchasing them. The Power Up Skin Animated Alien Face Mask. Like, this one is legit. You could put it on your face for Halloween and scare the crap out some toddlers. <laughs> and me, it's pretty creepy. So, the goal is to obviously finish all of these up. So next month, or next update, I will probably just divide it up like to the halfway point, because I'm never on time with these damn updates. I suck at life for that. Uh, next time, I hope to have a lot of these that I just pulled in done, because most of them are little mini products or, and whatnot. The body butter, I will not have 20 uses on, but everything else. And, oh, and the Pat McGrath palette, I would not certainly have all of those done, but that still leaves me like six things that I could have done, so I won't be super overwhelmed in the end. But that is it thank you guys for tuning in as always i do really appreciate it and hopefully i will see you later bye